Good afternoon. My name is Tom Albert, and I'm the director of the State Ethics Commission. Um, I am only here as a social visit. I'm, I'm coming just to say hi. Uh, I happened to be in Huntsville for some stuff today, and then I was down in Gunnersville, so I figured I would come over here. Uh, I know that um, I've spoken uh, at a number of uh, um, conferences where y'all may have heard me speak before, um, but I wanted to um, meet you again um, on your home turf and remind you that we're there to help you. Um, if y'all have questions, uh, about whether there are certain actions that you can take. I would first recommend that you speak with your city attorney. Um, hearing you talk about all of that brought back a lot of great memories. Um, I, I, I represented a number of municipalities in my private practice before I came with this job, and franchises drove me nuts. Only, um, the, the only thing that drove me more nuts was dealing with the railroad, um, which of course I know you feel there too. But anyway, if you've got questions, direct them to your city attorney. We, we, we really enjoy working with city attorneys. Uh, also with the league too. Uh, just remember that the, the, the key provisions of our act is that you can't use your position in a way that would benefit yourself, your family, or any business you're associated with that could come up in votes that you take uh, as, as members of the council. Uh, and also you can't uh, accept or solicit anything to corruptly influence your official action. If you remember those two points and nothing else, uh, then you will be fine, uh, I promise you. But so, I know you've got a busy agenda, but uh, since I'm here, does anybody have any questions you'd like to ask me before I leave? I'm, I'm pretty captive, and I've got, you've got witnesses, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe my fault, and I'll tell these guys you're coming. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, well, there's there's some, and, and you might expect to catch us people off guard when I walk in and say, hey, I'm from the Ethics Commission, so I'm not stop by. Uh, but, but part of that is that I really want you to realize um, that, that we are a resource for you. We would much rather you stay out of trouble than get in trouble. Uh, so there's, there's a method for handling that. You just have to ask us and we'll answer the questions. I have a question. Okay. Uh, there are numerous city employees as well as the elected folks that have to file an ethics form. Sure. It's due the end of this month. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of questions about it. Uh, can the commission come up with one that if you're exactly the same as you were the last year, <laughs> you just mark that thing instead of having to go through that multi page thing? Yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, let me tell you a little bit of history, and I won't be too long. I've been at this job six years. I'm working on the seventh year. And every single year, the legislature says they're going to change the statement of economic intersection of the code. In order to do what you want, what you just suggested, which is a great idea, it would require the expenditure of way more money than you could possibly imagine it would take to do just that one very small thing. So every year, we've been waiting for the legislature to change it, uh, which, of course, they haven't done. This year, what we have done is re- um, completely redone the online filing um, form, and we will be beta testing that three days this month. It will be for fully operational next year. It will be much easier to fill out because you're not going to have to actually manually fill out. You'll go through a series of drop downs that will populate certain portions of the, of the form. I think that if we get to a point where we're clear the legislature isn't going to mess with it, then it would be easier for us to invest the money into um, adding on to what we've just spent this year working on to do exactly what you suggested, which has been something I've wanted to do for about six years. Um, it, it's a little more complicated than you might um, expect it would, um, and there are an awful lot of people who file these forms, and so it could present some unintended consequences <coughs> if we were to do that. But certainly certain portions of the form, for, uh, form could populate your name, your address, uh, who your employer is. Um, who your um, dependent children are. Uh, the information that I would not want to populate would be all of the financial information um, that you have to report, simply because I, I think it's important for people to go through and, and think about that again before they answer it. And I think there are too many um, public officials or employees who might just simply hit there are no changes without really reading it again. But there are significant portions of the form that I think could be automated like that, and, that's, and I would like to do it. So it's not falling on deaf ears. It is falling on the slow pace of government. Uh, and, and a lot of things that, that, that uh, you know, have to be taken into account. But I feel your pain in the ear and i got to fill out the things that I haven't filled it out yet. <laughs> you don't have to fill it out. Yes, I do. Do you? Are you an employee? Yes. Okay, you're not a contracted attorney. I'm sorry. 
So yeah, you got to come out. It's due April 30th. <laughs> and they, they really expect you to fill this thing out too. When I was with the county commission, I forgot one year. And it didn't take but a few weeks, so I got a threatening letter, and I feel that thing out that day. And I think threatening is a bit, a bit strong. Um, <laughs> that certainly wasn't the intent of it. But, but you're right. I mean, the, the code requires us to give you notice before we can take any action. If you don't file it, then we can find you. But we've got we've got about three letters we send out that remind, first of all, um, you know, for the county, the county administrator, for the city, the city clerk, um, of who hasn't filed with the city, uh, and then after that. Um, we send you a letter, and then if you still don't file, we send you another one and tell you that we're going to start finding you in a day about two weeks out. That's, so one, that's one I've got. That's the third one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, just, you brought it up. That's <laughs> the, the, the third one. Again. But, but, but we don't want to find you. I mean, we just want you to comply. But because we send out those letters, our compliance rate is over 99%, but about 99%. Right now, which well, I since I've been over here, our city clerk is good to remind us. Yeah. Well, look, I mean, it's, for a number of years, the commission was not very active about reminding people they had to file it. And, that's, and, and when I got here, we started sending those letters and said, that's my fault. But our compliance rate went up. Uh, and, and also, our communication with the cities improved, which I'm very proud of. And there are a number of people who were filing who didn't have to file, and they got taken off the list. So I, the other thing that I'll say is that if there are employees who uh, don't think they should file, ask us, because there are a number of employees we've removed from the list, because once we look at how much they make and what their job duties are, they just don't fall within the criteria to file. Uh, so uh, seriously dialogue with us about that, because we have about 55,000 of those that are filed. About 85% plus are filed electronically, which is great, but 15% of 55,000 is still an awful lot of paper. And if we can cut that down some, we're more than happy to. We don't get paid by the power, uh, for sure. So this time of year, we do get a lot of questions about that. If questions do come up, just know that, that we're there to answer those questions, too. Okay. Any, any other questions before I leave? And what y'all do in important stuff? OK, well, what y'all do is important. I value it. Um, it's, um, not everybody will um, have the courage to stand up and, and uh, lead a city in its tough work. And so if we can make it easier for you, that's what we'd like to do. So thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right.